Have you ever been frustrated with your PCB design and not sure if it's correct? This is a situation that many engineers find themselves in. It can be frustrating to spend money on software or services, but now there's a free tool that does the same thing. That's why I want to introduce you to Altair Polix for Altium Designer. What is the Altair Polix extension and what does it do for PCB designers? Altair Pollux for Altium Designer is a free add-on for Altium Designer that helps you check your PCB designs before you spend money on any other software or service. It's really easy to use. All you need to do is install it and then use it in Altium Designer. Again, the best part, it's totally free. Okay, so how do you install the extension and start using it in your designs? To install the extension, simply open up Altium Designer and go to the Extensions tab. Then click on the Purchased Apps tab and there you'll find Altier Polex for Altium Designer. Then you would click it, download it, and follow the prompts and restart Altium if necessary. Once you've installed it, you can start using it in your designs. The easiest way to do this is by opening up Altium Designer and going to the PCB layout section of your design. When you open your PCB design, you'll see a new tab called Altair Polex. This is where you'll find options to run Polex on your design. You can check for errors, see how well your design conforms to standards, and more. Now, let's talk about the benefits of using the Altair Polis extension for Altium Designer. There are a lot of benefits to using the Altair Polis extension, including improved design efficiency and accuracy. By using Polis, you can quickly and easily check your PCB designs for errors and compliance with standards. This can help you avoid costly mistakes and improve the quality of your designs. So let me show you what I'm talking about when I mention that this tool has been used in real world designs. And here we have a case study with Samsung SDI. When Samsung needed to change their display technology from its original design to a new one, they didn't know what kind of stress it would have on their batteries for their devices. So they decided to use Altair Polex to do detailed analysis on the designs to give them the answers they needed. Now, Altair Polix is part of their standard tool, the engineers love it, and they've been able to integrate it into their entire workflow. It benefits the ecosystem, and it really makes them a lot more productive, regardless of any tool they use. All right, so Altair Polix is extremely powerful and useful, so as Samsung is using it, why shouldn't you, right? Simply put, Using the Altair Polex extension with Altium Designer can help you become a better PCB designer. It's easy to install and use, and it can help you avoid costly mistakes and improve the quality of your designs. So you've got to give it a try today. How do you actually get started with Altair Polex, though, if you're not already a user? All right but we need to actually install Altair Polex even though we have the extension for Altair Polex for Altium. So click on the Altair Polex button in Altium, choose open, then you'll be prompted to download the trial version of Altair Polex. You click on that link and click OK. Then you would go to where the link takes you, then choose click here to download to actually download the software. You want to run the installation file, then make sure you accept the terms of the license agreement. Click next, go through the prompts, install Altair Polex in the default folder, go with the default options, clicking next, then install. Let the software install, then when it's done, you just click done and it will be installed. Now let's move forward with actually using Altair Polix for Altium Designer. Once you've installed Altair Polix for Altium, the free download, you want to go to this Polix for Altium knowledge base within the Altair community link. 
in this link, you'll see Pollux for Altium getting started. And in here, this is where you'll find tutorials for installing the software and also using the software. So you want to choose the tutorials option. And here it will give you a step by step instructions with folders to change their settings for and how to set Pollux software up to be interactive with Altium. Now, Alter Pollux for Altium is available for Altium users, but with limited functionalities. Alter Pollux for Altium supports limited functions for Pollux PCB in general, the design for manufacturer options, analyses on signal integrity and electrical analysis constraints, and it also has some options for your thermal analysis. The Alter Pollux for Altium workflow has two significant parts the Polix for Altium standalone software and the Altium extension. The Altium extension will automate the process of exporting the PCB document file to a PDBB project file that Polix can actually read. Now before, the more common workflow was to use the Altair Polix for Altium extension to export the current state of the PCB document file into an ASCII format. Then you would use Pollux to run an analysis and verification on the exported board. If changes need to be made to the board, they can be made within Altium Designer and then exported again to Pollux to run another analysis. But with the extension, we can just export it directly to Pollux without having to do the whole export ASCII save and all of that. Let's look at an example board. In order to use this board for the first time, we would need to set up the environment for Pollux. From the menu bar, go into setting, environment. We want to associate Altair Pollux with Altium Designer and its correct mechanical layers. So in this environment window, under the ECAD option in your tree, choose Altium Designer. Here under layer setup, we have COC, which stands for component overlapped check, which means a component boundary. For top, we want to set that to mechanical 15. Then also set the bottom to mechanical 15. Click OK. Next, you want to close Alter Pollux. OK, we're going to go ahead and open this Alter Pollux for Altium example board. And now it's open in Altium. Click on the Alter Pollux extension button, then choose export design to Pollux. Pollux will open and do its thing. You'll see the prompt, click OK. And notice something here. If we go back to the folder, there was a folder and document created within the same project folder. This folder has the actual Alter Pollux PDBB file, which is what we see here in Alter Pollux. Also, there's a part folder in here which is used for solver products like signal integrity and thermal analysis. You can also use Altium to directly open the PCB design in Alter Pollux if a PDBB file exists already for your design. So for instance, if you go to the Alter Pollux button, you can click open and it will open the design in Alter Pollux if this PDBB file already exists. So again, if it doesn't already exist, then you'll go to Altium and select the export design to Pollux option. After that, you can choose open to reopen the design anytime you want. Once your environment is properly set up, you can use Alter Pollux to do a number of things. Let's run design for manufacturing checks. So go to option, DFM, DFM input. Then you can load design for manufacturing files. For instance, if we click load and select the DFM underscore input, which is found here under the program data folder, Altair, Polix, examples, and DFM. So you want to select this file and click open. This is a template file for design for manufacturing and the same can be achieved by adjusting the settings manually for each of the DFM checks you want to run. 
Let's go ahead and click Start Checking to run the DFM verification. Click Save for the prompt. And then look at that go. It's checking components, placement board, patterns, drill sizes, and even test points if you have those in your design. Voila, the analysis is finished for design for manufacturing, and we have a number of checks we can do here to see what passed and what failed. From here, you can use the DFM user guide to learn more about the settings needed to create your own rule checks. But here we see PCB spacing, component clearance, it checks for service mount devices, other component clearances. You can check hole distances, pads in general. You can look at net to net spacing. Maybe these two traces are too close to each other. So a lot of things you can check here, and that's really amazing. What I like is that you can also cross probe directly from Altair Polex to Altium. So let me show you what I mean. From the menu bar, choose option, DFM, DFM environment. Next, choose link to ECAD when result item is selected. This creates the link between Alter Polex and Altium. Click OK. Now, from the DFM check item result, click component spacing. Then if we select, say, the top connector, and see where they're having an issue here. See, this is too close. I'm going to drag my window to the right, and voila. It immediately selected the component having the issue. So if we select here, that gets selected in Altium, select here, that's selected in Altium Designer, and so on and so forth. So that's really cool. You can use the cross probe to check all of the failures in both Polex PCB and in Altium. This is a useful tool for design review meetings for people who are unfamiliar with the components or the nets on the PCB. What's awesome is that you can also do thermal analysis on the printed circuit board. So if we go to your analysis, thermal, and set your thermal analysis constraints, like boundary conditions, global parameters, then we can run the analysis in the thermal analyzer and view the analysis results. Now, in order to run the thermal analysis, you need to set your maximum power dissipation for your parts in the design. To do that, go to Properties, Parts, and then you would set your thermal limitation by double-clicking on the specific row for the part, choosing Package Thermal, and then here you would set it to whatever the maximum power dissipation is for the device. Now, I already have mine set, so I'll do that. Click OK. And then all you have to do is choose Analysis, Thermal, and then you can run that thermal analyzer. It runs a thermal analysis and voila, you get the results. You can choose your minimum and maximum ranges and there are many more options to select from if you want to look at specific components on your printed circuit board. But here's the overall thermal profile of the PCB and of course any hotspots on the printed circuit board. Now that you have learned the features for Alter Pollux, you can further your skills by working on the following like design for manufacturing, signal integrity, and thermal analysis. Just visit the Altair community and you'll see all of these options. Keep in mind that this is the limited version of Pollux for Altium. The full version includes more tools, including a complete verification checker, more signal integrity analysis tools, and even power integrity analysis tools. So if you're looking for the full Pollux experience, please visit Pollux for Altium. What I like about this free trial is that I can get it for free and have it do my design for manufacturing checks for me. There are so many different things to check, especially according to IPC standards, but to check all of them manually would be just a pain. And I would have to send it to the manufacturer, they would have to check for me, then there's a wait time on that because they're busy with so many different projects. By the time I get my design back with a DFM review, I'll have to make those changes, then another business day or two goes by before I actually make the changes to go through the whole process again, only to find some other issue in the design. 
This can really extend the lead time when you actually finish the design. And if you find that you have designed for manufacturing issues potentially, then you have to go back into your design, modify it, and then re export. And it's just a ton of work. That can be avoided by doing your own DFM checks using Altair Polex. So, wow, Altair Polex for Altium is very powerful. The Altair Polex extension is a free add on for Altium that helps you check your PCB designs before spending money on any other software or service. It's easy to install and use and can help you avoid costly mistakes when designing. The best part, it's totally free. Try it out today with the instructions provided. That would be here in the knowledge base and the getting started guide for Polex for Altium. And get into Altium Designer and try out this extension. Hey, I wanted to let you know about my next video in this series, which is coming up very soon. In the next video of this series, I'm going to be talking about going further with the Altair Polex extension and how it can help you become a better PCB designer by using it to streamline your workflow. So if you're interested in learning more about Altair Polex, stick around for my next video in this series when it's out. Bye.